There are really two routes into deal sourcing. In the UK, we have a, a very well-established route of business brokers who advertise businesses that have been put on the market by, by the business owners through the broker network. Now, they vary enormously in size and quality. So we have um, fairly what I call large retail brokers in the sense that they hoover up lots of business owners. They have large, significant quantities of mandates and really their, their business model is around getting a fee for taking on those those companies and they're less motivated in terms of the, the sale and somewhat overwhelmed almost to some degree in terms of what they can manage in, in, in output. Then there are the smaller brokers who are a little bit more focused, a little bit more personable. But overall, the challenge with the vast majority of the broker market is that all of their business model is sustained by their take-on fees, the fees that the sellers pay to them to market their business. So whereas in the, in the old days with estate agents, you used to pay an estate agent to then sell your house, that model disappeared, it was all contingent fees. That there, there's, there's only really one firm in the UK that do contingent selling. And the good news is we work with them and they're brilliant, but most of the business brokers come with a health warning because of this element of they have a contingent fee on a successful sale. So they have a very strong reason to try to push the price up because the more the price goes up, the more that they gain in, in fees. So just be aware that when you deal with brokers, you, you're up against that, that business model really. But nonetheless, they can be a really good start point just to kind of dip your toe in the water and figure out what it takes to, to look at a business, understand the information memorandum and all the process that goes with it. But actually what we try to recommend is that only say 20, 30% of your deal flow comes from a broker network. And if you can get 70 to 80% of your deal flow coming from the other, what I call indirect approach, um, then that's going to help you enormously. So indirect via um, accountants, corporate finance firms, um, uh, wealth managers. Wealth managers are a great um, set, set of people to build relationships with because wealth managers make their money from liquidity events. So when a business owner sells their company, they get six, seven, eight figures from the sale of their business. They, they need to go and invest that with a wealth manager. And wealth managers make their money from having pots of money to go and invest. So oftentimes they're working with business owners who are thinking about exiting and starting to plan ahead for their exit and what they're going to do with the cash. And the wealth manager needs you as a buyer to buy their client company so that they get the cash, so you get the point. And then lastly, M&A lawyers. So specialist lawyers, not just generalists that you know, do conveyancing or litigation or, or, or matrimonial, but people that only spend their time helping business owners to buy and sell businesses because they're involved in the deals and they get to hear about deals or they get appointed or, or whatever. So those are the, the four key players that you want to build a relationship with. Write to them, phone them, meet them, talk to them, tell them who you are, what you're trying to do uh, and, and get opportunities there. And your own accountant is probably going to have customers on their books that they know are coming up towards retirement. So that's a great place to start generating that opportunity. And then lastly, the direct route that you can do yourself is, is go and buy lists of or research lists of companies that are suitable for your targeting. And, and to create a target list, really simple, go to a company's house, download the SIC code classifications, munch through all of that and pick out the types of companies that you think you might be interested in. That's your target list. And then either hire a VA or point someone in your business, do it yourself, build a list and simply write to people and say, I've looked at your company, I like what you do, I'm interested in buying you. Remember, you want to find companies where the business owner is 55 plus, you can get that from Companies House really easily, it's free data. We just go and buy lists of data from data providers. But those are the key ways in which you can generate deal flow. And if you can build consistent deal flow, get that rolling, it's much, much easier to buy companies because you have that ability to walk away and say no to something that doesn't suit, knowing that you've got more coming through into that pipeline.